height. All right. So, as you can see, this is a new location. We are filming from a new location today and probably for the next couple of videos. I think it's okay, right? Yes. Check, check. So we are going to be doing another menu and this is kind of a spin-off of the menu that we did two videos ago and I find it very cool. I've been trying to or racking my brain how that can be done and as you can see all the effects that we do here or at least some of them are quite spin-offy so you can play around with them to make it your own spin-off basically. So let's get started. Let's add a container to the page. We are going to set the con content width to be full width and the width of the container is going to be 45%. And I will set the items direction to be horizontal and justify content space between. Now, as for style, we are simply just going to set the background type to a background. This is again up to you. I'm going to set it to uh, this orange and just publish. I think that's it for now. Actually, no, let's go to border and let's unlink this. And we're going to set the border radius to 10 bottom and oops, not a hundred and 10 left. So both corners left and right at the bottom have a border radius of 10%. Again, you could leave it pointy cornered or have a radius of zero if you want. This is up to you, but this is the way I want to have this designed. I'm going to start copy pasting some elements from my previous example. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I will leave a link to everything uh, to the previous video and to the code to the previous video and everything. and and the code for this video in the description just so you know all right everything that you need will be in the description below so i'm dropping in here my html code uh looks funky now because we don't have the css yet but this is the html structure oops, of the oh my god of the burger menu okay Let's go and get our logo. Dropping it in here. Okay. And I'm also going to add another element that we did not have in the previous video. And that is going to be a search widget. All right. And I'm going to drop it in here as well. All right. And everything looks kind of okay, except for our menu and the burger menu. And I'm going to bring in the code. So we have this uh solidified and it looks good all right so in this container i'm going to drop some css code it's not the whole code that we need as you can see the burger menu still does not look the way it should let's publish all right let's add some more in here i'm gonna drop it in here and as you can see our elements uh look pretty good right all right let's publish and let's just have a quick look all right we need to bring that down but other than that, everything is looking pretty good. All right, so let's go to uh, layout and set align items center. All right, so this should do it. Yes, everything is at the center. And our burger menu, it kind of like does the thing that it's supposed to do in this, like half of the thing that it's supposed to do. It just animates the opening of the burger or of the menu but we don't have a menu so we have to add a menu so what i'm gonna do i don't want this video to go on for too long and i will just copy the elements that i have already set and i will go through everything and i will explain i hope this will help all right so in this container i'm going to drop my structure for the drop down menu actually yeah because this is i'm going going to call it and publish well, let's see if anything happens right now right still nothing because we need to add some code so i will drop in another html widget in here and i'm gonna bring my gsap code in so let's drop the code in here i am missing a script sorry i have so many things happening on this desk and i'm working on a smaller desk this time 
That is so strange. All right, let's go and have a look now. And it's working, okay? So let's go through and I will explain how this overlay drop down menu kind of works and how you have to stylize it. All right, so this is what we're talking about. As you can see, I named the container. Let me just uh, close this and open this because this is the important part. We have a par parent container, which is the overlay and the overlay simply holds both our containers. In one of the containers, we have the actual menu and a video in the other one. And then in the other container, we have a divider with our social media tags. And let's go through everything right now. All right. So this is one container and this container has two children container. One is the video and one is the menu and the button, of course. And then we have another container here that contains our divider and our social media icons, uh, social media links. And that's pretty much it. Of course, you can make it your own. You can remove the video. You can just have the, the menu here. Um, you can simply make it your own. But what you have to keep in mind, as you can see, our menu has a certain width. And the certain width is um, equal to uh, the width of the top bar menu that you can see without clicking on the burger menu. So as you can see, this has, as you remember at the beginning, we set this to 45% and the overlay must be 45% in width as well. Otherwise it's going to look weird. So let's test a few things, okay? Let me go to the overlay. So the overlay, let's go to the layout. As you can see, has a width of 45%. And if I make it bigger, let's see what happens. Let's say 70% and, and this happens. And all of a sudden the menu looks kind of strange, right? And not very good. So this is one of the things that you need to keep in mind if you are going to try to make it your own as i said i don't want to go too much in depth into explaining what i did and how i set everything because you can see that in the previous video and there are, there's code for it and it's not difficult to figure out but what i wanted to say is that what i changed here is basically the animation the easing of the menu when clicked on how it rolls in and out uh, but that's it not much what i wanted to mention is that this is something that i kind of overlooked in my previous video and uh, somebody uh, who had the element the icon list on their page and tried to integrate the off Canva full page menu. Notice that the menu interacts with all the icon lists that he or they had on the page. And it is true, it does interact and kind of there's nothing I can do but write more code for it and I don't want to. So I will say this, if you have uh, icon lists on the page, do not use the icon list widget to create a menu. Use the WordPress menu. Works equally okay. Only, the only problem, or it's not really a problem, it's the animation, uh, the way it goes in and out is a bit slower than uh, it would be with the icon list. Don't ask me why. We're talking about a lot of code that interacts with each other, Elementor's mine, and it's a little bit difficult to um, get why these things happen but i will just say this right so you've been warned and that's it i think that's all i wanted to cover so keep that in mind when you are using this menu so it's best if you, you have icon list on the page or on the pages it's best to have this replaced with the wordpress menu so this was a little bit shorter but i think um, you get that you can play around with all these effects and make them your own. All right, so 
that was it. If you'd like to see what else you can build with Elementor, watch this playlist here or here. And if you have gotten any value out of this video, please consider subscribing, liking, and sharing this video. And I'll see you next time. Bye.